Hello everyone, my name is Crosshead, and I would like to introduce you to my latest design for a battle map, and what some of the features of this design entail when used in Roll20. So first off, you'll notice I use a sort of skewed view, a mixture of top-down and isometric. Now the latest feature of my design is to use PNG layers. It allows me to basically pop the top of my maps, like a roof in a building map. But this can also be used to pop off other features, like for instance the top of these trees. As I move the top layer, the PNG layer, into the GM layer, the entire map now becomes visible for the players. This can be used for when a party is being attacked from beyond the tree line, and they roll a successful perception check to figure out where the attack is coming from. Now what is also interesting, is that we can very easily use the tools we have at our disposal, like dynamic lighting, to create atmosphere with the design too. You'll notice that all the tree trunks are marked by a circular shape, so that when players move into the tree line, using their light source like a torch for instance, they actually cast shadows. It also simulates obstacles in the line of sight, making it easy for the DM to figure out when the player might be able to easily spot the assassins in the woods surrounding him. The task of adjusting the DC for detecting them also becomes much easier this way. Now this is just a very simple map design, making only very little use of the element of elevation and dynamic light. It was the first test in a possible series of these types of maps. You can download this map and its layers on my website, crossetstudios.com, for free, if you'd like to test it out yourself. If you enjoy my content, also consider stopping by my Patreon for more.